What's your name? Leah. How old are you, Leah? 31. Are you originally from Arizona? Yes. What are you doing out here in the streets? Are you homeless? Um, I have a home. Do you so, think I can have some money? Yeah. You have a home, but you just choose to walk around out here? Um, I go back at night times and I come out during the daytime. Okay. Like around I go, what? I go home and sleep at night and I have to come out during the day. I'm not allowed at home during the daytime. My parents send me out so, in the day. You alright? What are you doing? Just uh, doing Where's Joanna? Interview. Joanna? Uh, she's hanging out. She's around here somewhere. Take care of her, right? Okay. Do you understand? I love Joanna. We, Joanna. Jo Joanna. Go ahead. Your How are you doing? Your head. Who's that guy? I don't know. That guy is weird. It's dangerous out here. You can't be out here. Yeah. You have all kinds of weirdos coming out here, man. I'm a adult. I'm 31 years old. 31. So you can take care of yourself? Yeah. But then you have guys like this. No, I'm, I'm very, I'm intellectual, like, inclined, like, I'm genetically inclined. Did you grow up here in Phoenix? Yeah, I went to, I've been to, I lived in Surprise, lived in Glendale, lived in Phoenix, went to Valley Vista, I was a straight A student, I had 4.0 GPA, all A's, I had A++. Plus plus. I believe you. My, my teacher, my professor says I'm the best student, and the number one in the class. All my teachers have good thoughts about me, said good things about me. And I and I and I attended the extracurricular activities. I was on the volleyball team and the basketball team in grade eight too. That's good, man. Yeah, I was on the yearbook committee too. I made the yearbook in grade eight too and I I went to Sunday school churches and I went and I did the nursery. I was their um babysitter. I've dealt with babies before, seen some babies, and there's real babies, like really small babies, so we're not all just smoking adults, you know, <laughs> like we were babies once too, we were all small. Yeah, I know that. Yeah, we all grew up like, you know, just eating breakfast, lunch, dinner, every day. What ethnicity are you? Asian. Asian? Asian, yeah. Are you? Chinese. Oh, you're Chinese? Mandarin, Shishie. At what age did you come here to America? America, um, 11 years ago when I was 20 years old, mm -hmm. I came here to go to school, like I wanted to go to ASU. Yeah. I went to Paradise Valley Community College, PVCC. That's right up the street at like Union Hills, like, and um, it's like near Bell Road and Cape Creek. What were you studying for? Um, interior designing like how to design inside um, homes and stuff yeah. like inside uh, inside of rooms what design. happened to that did you just give yeah, up on I, it i graduated stuff like i graduated and yeah i did good i did good do you have any family members out here do you have mom dad yeah i siblings? have my um like my husband and his parents my parents-in-law mama and papa yeah and they're mexican and we go to we were going to Mexico a lot, but we don't have to go to Mexico anymore. We went to Mexico, and Mexico is not designed for human beings, you know that? It's past the planet Pluto. Yeah. And, yeah. It's, so it's, your husband is a Mexican guy? Yeah, he's Mexican. Where did you meet him? And he, he's out of town right now. He went to California. He'll be back in a couple of weeks. Did you meet him in school? I met him, like, at the casino. Yeah. Have you been married with him for? You think I can get the money? Yeah, that's fine. I was gonna ask you if anybody has any donations for you. Do you have any contact information or anywhere where they can reach you if they're trying to give you any donations or any I, help? I'm just at my house and that's at a 12 East Taylor Street. You can see me out there on the lawn, like, and you know, I usually have yard sales. Yeah. Garage sales, yard sales out there, and 
I always have yard sales and trying to make money every day, you know, just for for my hustle, like to buy my pack of cigarettes every day. I smoke yeah. cigarettes and we raise money so I can go. Thank you. Every day I try to see my friend. I used to have a friend named Michelle. Yeah. Michelle Pfeiffer. She's from, she's like from the Scarface with uh, Al Pacino. And I like Al Pacino. They, they have this Splenda. They have this Splenda sugar stuff. And they taught me the secret. The secret ingredient is Splenda. I used to think the secret ingredient is glass. That's why I was a dangerous person, thinking that it's glass, but it's it, but it's Splenda. It's not glass. So, luckily, it's it's way nicer than what I was thinking. Do you have any kids? I have no kids, cause I know I wouldn't be in good standing as today I am. Thank you so much. Bless you, too. Thank you. Can I call you brother? Yeah, sure. Do you know how to speak Chinese? Yes, yes, yes. What does that mean? Yes, yes, thank you. So you were, you said 21 when you came out here? 20, yes, 20, yeah, 20 yes, 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 that age, yes, yes. Do you like it better out here? Yes, America definitely is number one. A number one. Compared to any other country in the world, I think America is number one. How was it living in, in China? Were you I rich was, or were you poor out there? I was in Canada, actually. Okay. Really in Canada. It was Canada, Toronto, Ontario, Canada. And there I, I was... Um, Working also like as a, mm -hmm. I'm making like average about two hundred dollars a day. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so here I tried to make a hundred dollars a day. In the beginning, I did okay, and, and it's just like for the in a year, the first three days I would make a hundred dollars, a hundred dollars, a hundred dollars. The first three days, I think depending on how good I showered and how good I looked. I get dates like three times in a, in a year, and um, I still do. I, I'm just taking a break from my work right now. It's just some people don't want me to work. They don't want me to do dates. I don't know why, but I don't know. I don't know why. I just have no idea because if I don't work, I could be dead. You know, it's just I don't know why they're saying that. If they're trying to help me, or they're trying to hurt me. I don't know why, but I still do look for dates because I figured that if I don't do dates I'll, I wouldn't have a, a life because I only have a life when I work when I do those like dates yeah, yeah cause I, 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 I think it's called dating and stuff and what age day. did you start doing dates? 19 years old at 19 was yeah. it because you you wanted to do it or somebody else put you up? I wanted to do it because I wanted to have a good life. I wanted to take care of myself and get the things I want. Mm. And if I, if I worked, I was able to get the things I want and I can live exactly like how I want. And just at this time, I'm taking a break from doing work because when I was working, all the work it felt like work. Even play felt like work, you know. So that's why this time I think I know how to play better than work, so I just take a break from work. I get too excited. I, I'm, wait, I'm too talkative. Like, I, I talk so much that sometimes people even want to beat me up with sticks and stuff. So that's why even even when I get beat up with sticks, I'm so happy. Like, I, I, I take their beatings all the time like sometimes I just get beat with sticks for years and I don't even notice it but I, I'm excited because I think the person is hot you know so the person gives me so much life even when they beat me with a stick they beat me and they make me look more beauty than I ever looked if I was by myself you know because when they they even said they'll clip my ears for some reason I don't know I don't know what they were, were thinking but they they probably didn't like me that much but it's cause like they even if they said no to me, I wouldn't even notice they were saying no to me. I would kept on going and going to them. But I'm starting to notice now because I'm starting to slow down because I notice there's wheelchairs and stuff. 
and I stay away from the wheelchairs, but even I sat in a wheelchair. They even put me in a wheelchair. Just because I looked at a wheelchair, they put me in a wheelchair. Because I'm so excited because I didn't notice that I was a girl, had nothing to offer people, and I would be talking so talkative and bullshitting people. I would even invent Red Bull, like the drink, because I wanted to see what is this bullshit. Like, my, I had some man calling me bullshit, and I so I said, I want to see what is bullshit meaning. What's the meaning of bullshit? So they made the Red Bull drink, and I drank it, and I only got punished for that drink. They punished me, and so that's why I. Just, at all, so it's not as it's not as nice as like a cigarette or a lighter. So I'm starting to notice the difference between these things. And yeah, it is hard work to get a lighter. You know, that's why I feel really blessed when someone helps me. And you know, those days when I helped other people, I was under the impression that I was get so much more life, but the so much more life didn't come to me. So I feel sad. You know, I just want to say thank you for helping me because. You know, I, I, I want you to know that I, I hope you get help back. Like, like I, I don't know what to, I don't I don't know my own place, but I just want to say, as like as someone who cares, you know, I just want to say I care about you. I, I don't not care about you. I care about you. I care about you so much. Like, you, you are my good friend, the one that comes to their senses faster than me. Like me, I'd be like a full blown mental compared to you. <laughs> You know, I, I just want to say thank you, you know. Um, I have a husband and, and he's giving me some male enhancement, drink, supplement, a coffee drink. It's like a steroid. He slipped it into my ice cream. Like he made me have a spoonful of it. So that's why I have this energy like this. That's why I'm stronger than normal. I just wanted to tell you that like a, like a long time ago, well, five years ago, I had a sip of that and mail my hands and stuff of it. So that's what makes me be strong enough to come out here. Before all my life, I never had my hands on anything. I just worked hard to brush my teeth, you know, shower every day to get my, my, my highlight of my day was just putting on my clothes, you know, the feeling of putting, putting a shirt over my head. That's what, 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 what I was proud of. Like today, now I'm able to get drinks into my mouth. And the man had to splash water at my face, you know, he had to throw the drinks at me at first. He threw the drinks at me first and then it made me, oh, I realize that I can drink these drinks, you know. It made me curious, oh, there's a kitchen, oh, there's so much cool things we could do. Alright, well, thank you for this interview. I appreciate it, man. Thank you. Alright, man. Thanks. Thank See you. See you later. Thank you so much. Bless you. Thank you. Love you.